Good evening. Welcome, everyone. We're learning today the Kutub Aran, Torah Hafalov. We are holding by um, Seif Yudalef, 11. Baruch Hashem, we have learned the Stira for quite a while. And if nothing recapsulates the whole, the whole Torah again, and he puts it in order. So after we have explained it by crying out to Kodesh Baruch person breaks the seal on the concealment of the motion of the Shefa Eluki and brings it from a state of concealment to a state of expression. And now the mentalities of the motion exists in the form of that which you call Makifin, which is something you can shoot for, you already have contact with. And by sanctifying your seven candles, you bring the Makifin in. The Makifin become an Imi, and you get the new Makif. So, this is the way it is in this world. Then there are Makifin, which are above our pay grade. That's the level of Das that we will get in El Mabo. It's not possible to comprehend that Das in this world uh, because if we were to get this dance, it would cancel the possibility of choice, of free choice. Um, so we said, when you get the Makifin inside, your heart burns the Kodesh Baruch Hu. When your heart burns the Kodesh Baruch Hu, you, oh, you have the Burim, Kodesh now Rabbeinu explains a different, a different level in the, the comprehension of what Das is. And he says as follows. Taking into account everything that we have learned up to now, there's a pasuk that says, Nachamu, Nachamu, Ami. Be consoled, be consoled, my nation. Yoimer Elokechem. Elokechem will say. So now we have, just a second. So, um, as we will see that Yoimer Elokechem, Hashem will say, your Elohim will say denotes two different levels. There's Yomer, there's Elkechem. At the end of the Golos, basically, al Kipshat, it means at the end of the Golos, Kodesh uh, Baruch will tell the prophets to console Amishim. They're already, before they've already taken <clears throat> way beyond what was coming to them. And it's time for their for their redemption. And what's hinted in this puzzle is that also in the time of the Gaulus, there is um, a possibility of consolation for the suffering and the troubles of the Gaulus. 
Rabino says a very deep Indian. He says, Kola is to Atsorva is Surva Golos. All the distress, all the suffering, all the Golos. Eino Ela Lefi Erech is Das. A person feels the pain, the suffering, the distress commensurately with how much das he lacks. And when the das is complete, everything that a person lacks becomes fulfilled instantly. For it is said, in das kanita lechasata. If you have acquired das, what do you lack? You don't lack anything. And it says in the pasuk, it says lachem gola oni bimudilas. That is why my uh, my nation is exiled for the lack. Of das because I have no das. So what's written here in the pasuk is there are two things. First of all, the exile itself is a result of a lack of das, and not only that, the exile and the surin is chesor of das. Rabbeinu says take it. Another step further, and he says as follows: Eternal life that we will get in the future. This is due to the abundance of gas that is existing. The gas will increase. Everybody will know for this borough. And this is a central uh, pasuk here. By having this das, we will be included. We'll become one with the Kodesh Baruch. Because the Kodesh Baruch is totally spiritual. The connection between two things spiritual is what they call in Hashemot's Torah. Let's say that when you have somebody, let's say that your philosophy of life is is communist. Then somebody in the end of the world who is another communist, uh, he is very close to you on a spiritual level, on a das level, or they call it surah level, you're close. However, if somebody is very close to you, and you're a communist and he's a capitalist, so in the Das level, you, the two of you are very, very far. And the basic difference between men and the Kaddish Baruch Hu is that the Kaddish Baruch Hu is a giver. That's it. That's all he is. And I mean, we said that Kosh Baruch Hu has, he, he doesn't lack anything. So what can you give him? Men, however, any creation is by definition a taken. That means, that means that you and the Kaddish Baruch 
are about as far from one another as could be. In other words, you're opposite from the Kodesh Baruch You're a giver and he's, I mean, he's a giver and you're a taker. In fact, we mentioned this before, that the Baal Sulam explains in great detail that the will to receive was actually the only thing that was created. Because once the will to receive is created, that will already automatically creates all the tools to fulfill itself. Now they say when there's a will, there's a way, right? And the reason why this is the only thing that was created is because Gosbohu is everything. Gosbohu includes everything. He encompasses everything. The only thing that Gosbohu doesn't have is the will to receive. That's the only thing that needed to be created. Yes, my. And it goes with explaining that this entire world, everything that we go through in this world, is in order for us to maximize the capacity to want to receive. As a kid, you just want and you want and you want and you want. But the things that you want are, I don't know, electric scooter, or you want candies, or you want ice cream. As you grow, you want finer things. After the mitzvah, you get the yesatoy. And now, you know, assuming that you grew properly, and in a house that gave you challenges, embraced you, loved you and gave you uh, restrictions that you could identify with. If you grew in such an environment, now what you want is you want to tear up, want to receive, to do mitzvahs. You want ruchnis, but you still want it for yourself. You're still a taker. You're still a receiver. And the Bible Sutra says that the ultimate kavana with all this is once you have managed to develop and refine the will to receive to the ultimate degree, what you do is then you give it to the Shabbat. What does it mean? It means that you are receiving, you're giving the Kodesh Baruch Hu the capacity to receive, so the Kodesh Baruch Hu will have to give to. Because the Kodesh is a giver. So you receive such a, a, a degree of refinement that for yourself, whatever Hashem does is good. But is that what you want to receive? You want to receive not for yourself, but you want to give a Kodesh Baruch Hu somebody to give to. At that point, you, and HaKadosh Baruch Hu reach what they call the equalization of Tzura. You are both giver. You are both givers. That is a closeness to Hashem. There's a higher level 
is the level of where you know Hashem. The Kodesh Baruch created the world so the people will get to know him. And being a Kodesh Baruch Hu's rookies, if when you, whatever it is that you know of Hashem, you become it. So this is, it says, Kichai Mitzchim will always be in the future because of the Das, there will be such an abundance of Das and comprehension. Everybody will know Hashem. Everybody will be included in the oneness of Kodesh Baruch and everybody will live eternally like the Jabbat. It is through the idea that you are included in a Kodesh Baruch. You're encompassed in a Kodesh Baruch. You become one with a Kodesh Baruch. As the Chacham said, I think it's the Rabbah, I'm not sure. Had I known a Kodesh Baruch, was that if I would have been capable of knowing the Kodesh Baruch, I would be a Kodesh Baruch. But the Baruch and his wisdom is one thing. The Ika idea and the main idea, that kind of knowledge will exist in the future, but we said it is the key thing that you cannot get in this world. Moshe Kosa, by the future, Kimala Arts there, the land will be filled. Knowledge of Hashem. And because of the Das, you won't like anything good. You won't like anything. Everything will be totally good. Chazal said, you know, by Hashem Echad Shmo Echad, Chazal said, what? Today is not one. He said that Atu Aid Na Lavu Echad, Echad, and the Kaddish Bachel is not one. No, anything. Kaddish Bachel is name is one. And they gave a terrace in this world. When you get lolly in bad news, you make their dynamics. And when somebody gets good news, it's a tova native. We'll all see that in the future, everything will be a tova native. That means not just that whatever announcements we will hear in the future, we will bless a tova native. But the bad news that we get here now, that we got throughout the 6,000 years of existence, will also make a bracha to Because we will understand that both the best Balatanya says, there is no such thing as bad. He says, that which looks like bad, it's just a deeper good, said the Baal And he says, the Maisa, he says, why was a person brought to this world? Why was a person created in this world? And he answered, the reason why a person was created in this world is to feel a Kodesh Baruch to feel like you have billions of malachim of angels. If you have a rock, they don't feel like a rock, they see him. Feel like a rock with a different, with a different kalim. You use different tools to feel like a rock. Then he asked that same Talmud that he said it to him. He says, What is a Kaddish Baruch? What is Neshama? And what is a Muna? Well, as you can imagine, this Talmud, you know, say, I don't know, you know, what kind of answer would the Balatanya require from, you know, such a question? Balatanya says very simply and extremely profoundly, extremely deeply. He says that Kaddish Baruch is everything. Everything that you see around you, Everything that happens to you is a Kaddish Baruch. The Neshama is the entity that feels. And Muna 
is the tool with which you feel Allah Hashem. Also, love is going to be a das. You and Hashem are going to be one. Now, Rabbi Hino said as follows, even the goyim, you do be Israel and das, they will know the advantage of the das. You know, they will also get an influx. Whenever there is an influx in the Kedusha, the Tumma also gets a tremendous uh, influx. That's why, you know, in Arizal, you know, in, in the, the, the Bess Yosef, in, in, in all the Kabbalah, in King David Tzvast, the Goyim received, the Goyim received the Renaissance. And when the Baal Shem Tov Rabbeinu came to the world, this is when this is when the Goyim received Bach and Mozart and all those people. And when the Kedusha gets it, the tomb also gets it. It gets, you know, the Spitzen, the, 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 that which um, squirts out. They build a culture on it. This is Even the Goyim will know the advantage of having the das, there won't be on our level. He says as follows, the Eidu Shagdulo Shayalai, they will realize that the greatness that they had throughout the scholars, you know, it's the big, you know, the whole Amazon, whatever, Apple. Vashifu Shayalam is one of the root. And the lowliness that we were stationed at during the exile. Calls us All that greatness was to us. We had the greatness. Even now, you can't understand this. Because you can't, I mean, today a little bit easier, but in those days, there's no place to feel, you know, that Jews were second-class citizens until today they are, but nevertheless, now things are a little bit different. This is Kenna Christachus, you cannot deny, you know, Jews are hated because they're Jews. You know, the funny thing happens here now with the entire world is frothing at the mouth because of the war, because of the Palestinians. Since when did they care about Palestinians? In Syria, Assad slaughtered 650,000 people. Did you hear a pips from anyone? Did you hear anybody getting upset about this? Who cares? The world doesn't care about Palestinians. It's the Jews. Um, so in order to put down the Jews, so they care about the Palestinians. They, as if they care, the Palestinians don't care about the Palestinians. The world doesn't care about the Palestinians. Nobody cares about the Palestinians. About the Jews. It's against the Jews. Then, 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 you know, we'll prop up or make a sort of palace and all kinds of shtuot. It says, in the future, your bad das, the das will become so great. We have in everybody will understand, including the going. that the greatness, that the high stature of the going themselves. All their, the stature that they have, it was our greatness and their lowliness. At all times. As I explained before, that that everything we've done, and that even the bad, we will understand it was all good. It was all came to good. It's one thing that we need to sort of like, we spoke about on Shavuos night, that particular Indian, that we have seven sevens here. We have six of them as a as a candelabra, and then the seventh one is that crying out of the We have the seven candles of the face. We have the 
seven clouds of glory of Sukkot, we had the Kiddushan and the seven days of glory. And then we had La Leinu, the Shiri and Avelis. Then we had the Yibun Chalitza, that is the shame of Miriam being outside of the Machna for seven days. And then we have the seven candles, Moshe Rabbeinu. But Miriam, you know, offended it, so therefore she had to be outside of the Machna. So you have, it's symmetrical. You have on one side, you have the seven candles from Israel. On the other side, you have the seven candles of Israel. One side you have the, the Sukkot, and the other side you have the Yibum. And, and one side you have Silas and Amishta, this is the Kedushin, for the seven days of, of festivity. And on the other side you have the Avelos, the seven days of Avelos. Is it one against the other? It's symmetrical. Because the mice in this world, the the good moments, the tormented, and dynamics of Shemiratim are basically both tools with which to bring the Shafi to the world. Before, when everything gets still stuck, you have to cry out. That's the 70 voices. Cry out in filler, cry out in turn. But once it's already a makif, then you have these seven you know, these six sevens to bring it in. The positive and the negative are both positive, are both given to receive the chef on the key. So even then, the goy will understand that all their greatness was our greatness in their loneliness. Supposedly, this is a, it's a great level of cognizance. I mean, wow. Still, that recognition. For us, it will be a joke when compared to the level of Yadir that we will receive at the time. This is what is hinted to in the Psalms of the Hillam. Then our mouths will be filled with laughter. As Yom of Agoim, Higdil Asalasajimela, Higdil Asalasajimadim. Then they will say, by the nations, the greatness that Hashem did with them, the greatness Hashem did with them, this greatness that Hashem did with us. What it means is that the Goyim will say that greatness that Kaddish Baruch Hu did with us, even with them, with the Goyim, with the Akum, is really Higdel Hashem, that's what we mean. It's really a Kaddish Baruch Hu did the greatness with us. Abdullah Zayis, that greatness was to Israel. Still, I mean, this is a tremendous Madrega. Still, Azimah is not Peter. For us, it will be a joke. Shana Shnitzchak Nidalig, from that knowledge, with that asoga, plus it's a joke. Because Rabbi Yenu says our asoga will be endless. In order to be included, to become one with the Kaddish Baruch your asoga has to be endless. And we say the idea has market. This is what you know, it's inside you. You have a market, you have a surrounding understanding. Market is a market. We said when the Moichen are in the level of the Ibor, of pregnancy, they're stuck they're behind a wall. And so the cry, the cry is that you give birth to them, it becomes a market. Afterwards, sanctification of the seven candles, bring it in. As they said on the possible by the as we said before, and this Rabbeinu says is that which is being alluded to in this pasuk. Nachamu, nachamu ani. Nachamu, nachamu. What do you repeat the word twice? Nachamu, nachamu. The next says, "Hamu makif, makif le makif." 
One Nachamu is a surrounding circle, which is one Nachamu. Then that Makim has another higher Makim above it. Nachamu, Nachamu, it's Makim above it. Shayidia Ikar Nachamu Shatatsamus, because of this knowledge, when you know why Hashem did what he did, why Hashem does what he does, everything becomes clear. Everything becomes a Nechom. Because when you give birth to the Moishan from being Makif the Makif, in other words, it's not even evident, it's not even expressed yet. When you bring it down to a Makif, it's already a Shtip of Nechom, because you have a little bit of Yediyah already, a little bit of Yediyah more. I okay, now I'm, I'm good. I still don't, I don't, I don't have it clear, but I already, I see where it's going. You know, it's like a, as you should see in the 60s, you know, I don't say what you're saying, but I know where you're coming from, you know, kind of. <laughs> Anyhow, so I don't understand what you're saying, but I know where you're coming from. You know, it's a, you start, you start to get a stick on the hollow. Because the Sechel Pnimi receives highest from the Makif. And afterwards, when you are bringing the Makif in, then it's a complete idea. And then this is the Shlemus of the Nechama. This is a consolation, the Shlemus. Okay, now comes the question, how can you come to this idea? That is explained by the end of the passage. Nachamu, Nachamu, Ami. Then our focus of the of the policy is Yomer Elokecha. Your God will say, Yomer Elokecha. Your Yomer Elokecha is what the Zera says. A mirror, when you say something to somebody, is bechashai. You're saying softly. And he says, as the Zera said. And that alludes to the, the, the substance of oil. If you ever poured oil, oil does not make glug, glug, glug when it pours, right? Oil pours silently. However, wine, you know, that makes noise when it, you know, it raises, it's, it's loud. The mirror be chashai. The mirror, the saying, denotes chashai. You know, denotes quiet, silence. It denotes shemen. Shemen, if you remember, is the mayach. Shemen is the rochapirish. And there says in Shmini, yai la makola, wine is to raise the voice. The shemen be chashai, and oil comes quietly. Shemen, that talks about the Shiva Samiris, the seven candles of the Kadanabra that you filled with oil, you filled with moichen, or with das. That is a mirror. This is Shemen. This is quietly. Elohim, the word Elohim denotes raising the voice, as it is said, Vivkinas, Elohim al Damilach, Elohim. Don't let the, the voice quiet down. Elohim is Gvura, so then there's a loud voice. And this is the Tzalko, that is the cry that you cry out in order to break the seal of the Ebor to give birth to the market. This is the cry out, the crying out of the Yolandis. This is how you bring down the two Mechim. Yoima is the seven candles. Elokechem is the cry that you cry out in order to bring about the expression of the Makif. Up to here is the Shonu From now starts the Loshon of Rabnosim. Rabnosim re-encapsulates the entire Torah. He explains, he puts things in order. Because Rabbeinus, first of all, says, 
about seven candles. Then he says the crying out, the 70 voices that breaks the seal, that brings about the birth of the Makif. Rav Nosson explains that the right order is the other way around. In other words, first of all, you cry out, you bring the birth of the Makif, and then you bring it in. But the main thing that I wanted to talk about today about is all that which we have been talking about, Kol Nekodesh Baruch Hu, in your thought, when you can't even say it, you don't even want to say it with your voice. I'll give you an example. You know, somebody who's well, he's asleep. He has a problem getting up, okay? You know, if he, if he opens up his eyes, he asks about his Rahul will help me up. His Rahul will help me up and go. And I don't want to. You know, I want to escape a little more. You know, the world is 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 threatening. You know, for some people waking up in the morning. What certain parts, points in a person's life, getting up in the morning can resemble, as we said, you know, uh, uh, criminals being extradited, you know, as the plane is about to land, you know, and he knows that at the gates, the only thing that awaits him is just handcuffs. Some people to, you know, certain times to wake up in the morning feels like, there I go, why should I wake up? I don't even want to be hurt. But the thing is that you know that this is a story. It's not reality. Reality is, is the world is all good. It's like a person's story is like a person lives in the story that he feels that, you know, his parents hurt him, they did this, they did that. By and large, I mean, the, the, the almost complete majority. I mean, save a few psychopaths with their children or parents want to just do good for the children. That's all they want. Yeah, but you, in your own story, the way that you understood it, whoa, what kind of damage did to you? So, this is the necessity you have to go through in this world. But the same thing, when you need to wake up in the morning, and you need to go to shul. <laughs> and that part of you, which lives in the story, and it's very convincing, doesn't want to wake up. So we said you don't even want to ask for the Shbarahu to help you get up, because if you ask him, you will get up and you have to face the world. So we said that you can call out for the Shbarahu in your mind. So you can ask a Kaddish Baruch Hu, you know, I wish I wanted to ask you to help me get out of bed. In your thought. The Chiddush here, Chiddush here is that that thinking in your mind, just it's <laughs> the epitome of wishful thinking is you are crying out like it's not. Bevadai, if you can cry out, you know, to the point that your the sound of your voice reverberates inside your head. That's great. But if you can do it, you can only you can also do it 
in thought, let alone in whisper. But his wealth is with you every single step of the way. You can always cry out of the Nibbana. In sound, whisper, and even in thought. Because you go through various stages. You go through various stages. You go through tremendous ups and downs, you know, light and darkness. We can always, always, always call Hashem. And when you call Hashem, do you cry out? Or then sort, or whisper, or words, or cry, or even sigh, as the Bible says. Just making a noch, just sign. You are bringing in shlemus to your husbands. It moves you ahead. It gives birth to the motion, to the makifin that is still completely sealed from you. And as you sanctify yourself to the best of your ability, you can bring it in. And the sanctification of the the, the Shem's names is quite simply begins with the Das. It's in here. You know how it is when you get a fantasy in your head, it doesn't matter what age you are. You can be a hundred years old, I don't care. You get a fantasy in your head, this is the V of a Saturn. Push it out. Yeah, but come on, man. What do you mean? Just, just, just think, I'm just thinking, man. Not doing anything. Oh, yeah, let me slow. Don't do it. Push it out. Well, what good will it be if I push it out? It'll just come back. Okay. That's its business, not yours. You just push it out, go straight. Reb Nelson says in Kuta Alochas, he says that this Chokma Bina Das, Chokma is. Why is Bina when you come to him? Das is that you just know. It means there are no reasons. You don't reason with your temptations. Love, why, man? Nothing, I don't care. No, because Gokhan said, no, that's it. I know, because Gokhan said, no, is no. That's the main Das. No is no. It's when the no is wavering. You know. As Rabbi says in the Maisa, Yogi Volt, Nishka Volt, you want, you don't want, you don't want, then you do it. No is no. That's the main das. The main, yes, is yes. When you crowd to the God, crowd to the Shabbat from any from wherever you are, it's a yes. It's only possible if the no is a no. And the way to make a no a no is not to get into all kinds of excuses. You know, there's a cause. You know, is that according to the man the Omar, there's an akimta that says that you know it's no. Well, you're done. You're finished. Don't go there. Bezat Hashem. Hashem will help us, first of all, everybody should have a good Shabbos. Pasha's not so. Shemini's Pasha. Once a Shabbos at Hashem, we'll learn. Spirit of Hashem Tov, Sikh Saran. And, uh, excuse me, let me just, uh, this.
and it keeps on coming up. The things that I need to do, and then I'm <laughs> no, as I know, right? <laughs> Anyhow, be that as it may, I think we should all have a good Shabbos. I'll see you on the Shabbos.